what is the difference between ABO and CBO in uh, Facebook ads? Well, CBO stands for cam Campaign Budget Optimization, and the ABO is uh, um, Ad Set Budget Optimization. Actually, CBO uh, got a new name now, it's called Advantage Plus, because now Facebook has a new um, algorithm and uh, they're calling a lot of things that uh, is now automated, they call it Advantage. So there's a lot of things called Advantage in uh, Facebook advertising now, but it's easy to just call it uh, CBO still. And what it is, is um, um, Facebook ads are divided into three levels, kind of. The first one is the campaign. That's where that, that's where you start, and you do you tell Facebook if you want leads, or you want sales, or you want awareness campaign or engagement campaign. And then there's the ad set level. That's where you define who's gonna see your ad. Um, the audience, the interest groups, uh, the age, uh, the gender, and stuff like that. And then there's the, the ad level. That's where you design your ads and you write your descriptions and headlines. And you can allocate the budget to either the campaign uh, level or the ad set level. And when you uh, put the budget on the campaign level, then it's called a CBO campaign. And uh, when you do that, you're, then you're giving uh, Facebook um, permission to um, allocate budget to all the ad sets underneath the campaign. So you can have several ad sets underneath one campaign. And when you put the budget on the CPO on the campaign level, then uh, you're letting Facebook's algorithm decide where to put the money. And it's actually pretty good at that, um, to find out and put the budget to the best uh, performing ad set. And underneath that, also the best performing ads. Is, but sometimes it can be good to um, take, not let Facebook do all that, all that um, uh, optimization, because you also want to know um, which uh, interest group is working. And if you want to know that, then uh, you don't know exactly um, because if you're just letting Facebook's algorithm optimize. Uh, well, you can you can go by it and just uh, just uh, trust that Facebook's algorithm is doing the right thing, and oftentimes it is. But if you really want to know for sure, then you can also put the budget instead of the campaign level, you can put it at the ad set level. So if you have one campaign and you have two ad sets, and let's say you put $100 a day, you can put, like I said, $100 on the campaign budget um, level, and um, then Facebook is going to allocate the campaign, the money to either ad set that it believes is working best. So it could be actually putting $99 to one ad set and $1 to the other ad set. That happens a lot. But if you want to take over control, then instead of putting the money on the campaign level, then you can put like $50 on the two ad sets, if you have two ad sets, for instance. So instead of putting it on the campaign level, then you're putting $50 to either ad sets. And then you're forcing Facebook to spend the money on uh, both the ads instead of uh, both the ad sets, instead of it letting it just spend $99 on one ad set and $1 on the other ad set, for instance. And that way you can look at the metrics and you know that they got the same amount of money so you can compare. You can't really compare two ad sets if one got $99 spent and the other one got $1 spent. Um, so if you really want to know which interest group um, or uh, also country or uh, age group or gender that really performs the best, then you do it like that. You put the money on the ad set level. Under the ad sets, you can also have several ads, but you can't put budget on the ads alone. You can only put it either on the campaign level or on the ad set level. I uh, hope it makes sense. Comment below if you have any questions.